Wake up and start to sing and start to sing, yeah. Shake up, shake up, shake up. Sing a melody, sing a melody. Now the fact alone that we have woken up is proof enough that you believe in trust and you have faith in us and you can hear us and can you hear us? And our selfish cried to man For we in trust and it's your most In your pure and faithful lands Let my thoughts not trouble no. Would you describe your musical style? What styles are you trying to cover? What, what kind of music are you trying to... <clears throat> okay, um, I think it's um, fair to say that... Um, I my my music is is very eclectic for one. Um to put it into one genre or one style would be unfair. Um I think the best if you would if I would have to put it into um label my music into a genre, I think the best way to be to label it in three genres. Um the first one being folk music. Um, um and the second one being rock and the third being reggae. Um my folk songs are more contemplative, more meditative, more personal and intimate songs. When I when I sit down and I want to write a, a song of an intimate song, whether between me, whether the song's about between me and Hashem or between me and um, me and the world, or I think it just comes out to be a folk style song in reggae and in rock. That that's the style that connects with really praising Hashem. Smile a mile for you, for you. all that's true. Uh, that's just you Won't you help me please I'm getting down on my knees You draw me from the sea of reed Yeah, when I'm in need Yeah, when I'm in need so I think the first song I ever wrote was a rap song for Pern. Um I performed that a lot at different people's homes and different Chabad houses. Is it going to be on the album? No, it won't be on the <laughs> album. Um, I like to think that I've advanced from uh, from that song. But and then I, you know, it was interesting. Before that, I, I, then I did it just for leisure, just for fun, and I, I had no idea that I could write. I was, uh, I think, 17 or maybe 18 years old then. Um, but then I realized, I looked back at it, and I've heard people's remarks and things. That, I mean, it was, it was a decent song. So I began to write more and more, and um, I also wrote a musical, again, in the same yeshiva, we wrote a, a friend of mine, we, um, we, we got together and we wrote a musical, a play, and that was also great, and then I just couldn't stop and I kept writing. I mean, singing was something I always did since I was a little kid. Um, since I was five years old, I, want, I was always singing, always in school choirs. Um, but songwriting didn't come till, till a little bit later. I want my music to inspire people. You know, this is, this is the way I like to put it. I believe that every person in the world, every human being, has a place, a spiritual place where they need to be, where they want to be, or they should be, or where, where they feel they want, where they want to be. And sometimes it's hard to get there. What I want my music to be, I want my music to make the ride a little smoother, to make the ride a little easier. Just music is just flows through his blood and through his veins, and he he plays so many instruments, and it's just been so smooth and such a beautiful experience working with Steve. And I, I work with a fellow named Mark Weinstein, who was my one of my disciples when I first started doing music for TV and radio. He's he's like one of the country's largest and most popular jingle writers. 
And he and I work together on a lot of different things because he's just a fabulous musician. Uh, like like uh, Moisha has found out on his own that uh, Mark is just a f I mean, he's got perfect pitch. He knows music inside and out. He used to be a concert pianist. The guy just amazes me. And I'm, I'm honored to work with him. And he's the one who introduced me to Moisha. Um, and this guy has been just a wonderful experience. I, I've been turning down artists in the past to do CDs or to do these kinds of projects. And I am asleep Oh, my heart is alive Yes, and I am asleep Oh, my heart is alive And the voice of my beloved Is knocking Oh, oh, she's knocking what I bring as a producer is, is an eclectic personality of my own that, that matches Moisha. Because when he says he wants to do rock reggae, I know what he's talking about. Because I've done something like that in the past, in my 30 years of producing. Or when he says he wants to do folk uh, uh, in the style of Bob Dylan, I know exactly what he's talking about. Because I've done something like that before. Um, so, in, in that way, I think we match pretty well. I'm an eclectic producer, eclectic artist get together that way. Take folk music, take rock music, take reggae music and lift it up by infusing them and by filling them with spiritual ideas, with a spiritual consciousness. And by what happens is, it these, just like, you know, Hasidus teaches, that everything in the world is, supposed, is, is meant to be, to be uplifted. Everything, we're supposed to find a spark in everything. And that's what I'm doing with, 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 with using jo these genres. I'm simply infusing them with what I believe to be spiritual ideas, spiritual concepts, and uplifting them. Let my thoughts not trouble, no simple fancy. So bringing a light into my eyes and waking up from the stream. I say bring